What's cooking, Moo Moo? We're gonna find out when we read our book today, and then we're gonna head to my kitchen to see what I've got cooking. Moo Moo and Mr. Quackers present What's Cooking, Moo Moo by Tim Miller. Great news, Mr. Quackers. I just thought of my best idea ever. What is it this time, Moo Moo? You know how you wish we could spend more quality time together? Did I really say that? Well, I figured out the perfect way to make your dream come true. You mean we're going on vacation? Nope, even better. We're opening up our very own restaurant. Congratulations, partner. Are you for real? I paid for it with a piggy bank full of money I found in our closet. That was my life savings. Don't worry, you're going to have so much fun that you'll forget about it in no time. Thanks, Moo Moo. You really know how to cheer me up. Moo Moo and Mr. Quackers' Chow House. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Moo Moo and Mr. Quackers' Chow House. Line starts here. Grand opening. Get out of my way, me first. I told you this was going to be fun. Is that what you call it? Ding, ding, ding. Water, please. Sure, no problem. Glug, glug. Ding, ding, ding. What's on the menu? You can get the Moo Moo Special or the Moo Moo Special. I guess we'll take the Moo Moo Special. Excellent choice. So what is the Moo Moo Special anyhow? It's all my favorite foods mixed together, of course. Bon appetit, everybody. Sniff, sniff, poke, poke, nibble, nibble, munch, munch. How do you like it? Patui. So much for the Moo Moo special. How about I whip up a batch of my top secret recipe? Of course, you're a genius. Quacker's Delight, top secret recipe. One large pot of water, 300 pounds of pasta, 500 cans of tomato paste, and finally, the most important ingredient of all, jumbo-sized can of worms. Voila, ladies and gentlemen. Mine tastes squishy. Mine tastes slimy. Mine tastes like worms. Wait, come back. What about dessert? Ah! So much for the restaurant business, Mr. Quackers. I'm sorry it didn't work out. It's okay, Moo Moo. At least we got to spend quality time together. Which reminds me, how would you like to go on vacation? Now that sounds like your best idea ever. Are you for real? I love this recipe because you don't have to measure anything. We're gonna start out with a tortilla. I laid it on a pizza pan. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of sauce and we're going to spread it on the tortilla so that it's kind of like a pizza. Next, I'm gonna use lots of mozzarella cheese because I love cheese. Is that enough? Yeah, a little bit more. And I love pepperoni. So I'm gonna put a row of pepperoni right down the center. And see how I'm overlapping it just a little bit? I want it to go right down the middle. Sometimes the pepperoni stick together. But I'll get them. There we go. And then I'm gonna roll it up. It's called a pizza roll up. And then I'm gonna put a toothpick in it to hold it in place. And it's all ready for the oven. 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Pizza roll ups. They're easy and they're yummy, especially with a glass of milk. I'll see you tomorrow.